Chapter 3. The Construction Industry in Nigeria. Introduction. The word to construct simply means to build or to put or fit together. Construction involves a lot of decision-making processes and consultations, diverse groups of people, everyone make their contribution in their own field of expertise, use of varieties of materials, techniques and equipment. This wide range of activities are daily being carried out in this country under one umbrella called the construction industry. We will be able to have a better understanding of the construction industry in Nigeria by having a good grasp of issues such as the range of construction activities within the industry. Basic operation defining the scope of the construction activities and the actors slash participants involved in the construction industry. The range of construction activities. The ranges of activities are basically divided into three, namely building, civil engineering and industrial construction works. Building works. This covers the construction of buildings of all types, bungalows, low-rise, high-rise, domestic, commercial, institutional, religious, social, governmental, cultural, recreational, industrial, etc. The building industry is wholly concerned with all aspects of planning, design, construction, and maintenance of buildings including production of building materials. Heavy engineering or civil engineering works. This covers the construction of dams, bridges, roads, tunnels, railways, airports, highways, harbors, docks, structural pipelines and a host of other similar works. Basically, while building deals with the provision of shelter and facilities within, civil engineering covers the provision of the surrounding infrastructures that provide services to the building. Industrial construction works. Included in this group are developments in electrical, electronics and telecommunications industries, such as power generation plants, towers and transmitters, petroleum refineries, fertilizer plants, etc. Specialists in mechanical electrical, telecommunication and chemical engineering fields are usually deeply involved in this class of construction activity. Irrespective of the type of construction activity, we can recognize two forms or construction demand namely. Private sector. Own new construction works usually comprising housing, commercial and industrial works. O maintenance of existing works including repairs, replacement, rehabilitation, alteration and refurbishment works. Public sector. O the new construction works can be classified either housing or non-housing. O maintenance of existing works as outlined above. Operation defining scope of construction activities. The need for new development or the renewal of existing buildings as a result of change in modernization, improvement in technology, deterioration of facilities as a result of exposure to sunshine and rainfall. To satisfy these needs, some specialists do come together as a team and carry out some sequence of operations in relation to their fields of expertise. Though these functions sometimes overlap, however, we can distinguish clearly five functions, defining the scope of a construction activity, whether building, civil engineering or industrial in nature. They are O planning determining the manner in which an area of land, in a town, city, region, etc., should be developed and the types of sites suitable for particular forms of development, residential, commercial, industrial, etc., to provide a balance between the built and natural environments. O. Designing determining the shape and size of the structure and its components suitable for intended use, working out a general architectural and structural concept that will meet functional, aesthetic and performance requirements, and specifying durable, strong, economic, maintenance effective materials of construction. O. Constructing preparing the site, purchasing specified materials, components and equipment, and assembling them on site within limits set by design proposals and conditions of contract. O. Commissioning involving handing over of the constructed facility to the owner. O. Maintaining taking care of the structure after it has been constructed to prevent quick wearing out and decay, and to ensure serviceability, that is, being able to serve its intended purpose, and improving them when necessary. People and sub-sectors involved in the construction industry. The industry is made up of diversified operators. These include Federal and State Ministry of Works and Housing, which sometimes use direct labor force and their employment to undertake direct construction work of major types of government ministries or parastatals. State housing corporations which sometimes undertake direct building works on behalf of themselves and their customers, private construction companies, private promoters with their in-house construction outfits, material and equipment new factories. Material and equipment wholesale and retail distributors and suppliers, financial institutions, clients or owners of projects which may include private individuals or households, private and public organizations. Construction employees. The industry also employed diverse people which can be categorized as follows. Professionals. 
These are highly skilled personnel at the top of the pyramid of the employment range. They are usually involved in organization and decision-making processes, aimed at providing solutions to problems of facilities provision in the industry. This group is made up of town planner, architects, professional builders, quantity surveyors, land surveyors and engineers, structural, building services, electrical and mechanical. They are responsible for the design and documentation of the client's requirement within limits set by given time frame, cost level and quantity level. Becoming a professional first involves first graduating from a tertiary institution, then admission, after passing all the necessary examinations and interviews, into a professional institution as a corporate member. Examples of such professional institutions in Nigeria include NITP Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, NIOP Nigerian Institute of Building, NIA Nigerian Institute of Architects NSE Nigeria.